What, what are you feeling for the race kind of track like this? Well, this is uh, the first time race for last year was my cup debut, and I've never been around the track at all. So uh, it's in any vehicle. So it's great to be able to come back and have those soccer laps on my belt there. We've been working hard on the car all weekend here, and uh, we made some gains. So uh, I'm excited to be able to come back and see how we can do. I just say, maybe come to you a year ago. How are the approach thing different? Like, like you said, you have 500 miles under the belt. So how is the approach different? Uh, absolutely. I mean, the first person I was here was definitely uh, a learning experience. I'm still learning a lot as we go here. Uh, only in my second start. But uh, th this time, at least, I, I, I have something I can work on. Something I can relate back to where uh, the first time I didn't even know. I didn't know what to, what to do on the car. So it's, uh, it's great to be able to come back with that experience. We have a special paint scheme on the car this weekend. Uh, we're wearing a very bright pink suit. You know, so that's for breast cancer awareness. And uh, Corvette Parts Team Parts put us together with that. So it's great to be able to support that. That's uh, something that's close to my heart when my mom goes to the breast cancer. Uh, oh, can you hear so much? Oh, she was here for a while. I just started, like, normally she's around for practice. This, this place, there's so much attrition. Basically, if you just stay out of the wreck, you'll be all right. I mean, that's what everybody keeps saying. But uh, I'm calling a few different drivers there, and um, you got, you got a few ideas right now. So that's good. The hate here, this place have a hate here when you come through here, you're like, wow, I can't believe it. It's, uh, this, ever since I was about seven, it's been my dream to race at this level. So uh, anytime you come to a place like Martinsville, with so much history, one of the oldest tracks on the schedule, it's, uh, it's great to think back at all the legends right here. How do you race in Cup, Xfinity, Trucks, Waka? In your opinion, what has been the most fun car to drive? I, I'd definitely say the Cup car, obviously, just because it's uh, what I've always wanted to do. Ever, ever uh, thrilled and, and blessed to have the opportunity to do it. So uh, I'd, I'd have to say that. Plus, uh, one of the higher horsepower parts, I always like uh, a lot more. So how does it feel come together with the second time here? So how does it come together for the second time? Yep, uh, I raced uh, with Archie Sound there with all the team at the Disney Series there. And whenever he moved the cup, uh, he was able to put together with the same sponsor we have here for that parts uh, last year. And it just came together and got this year. So we kept the difficulties of getting sponsors. I would say if it was up to you, you'd be having a full-time time by so. uh, Absolutely. I, I don't get racing right here as much as I'd like to, but uh, I'm excited every chance I do get, the, to get behind the wheel. The, the marketing end of it and the, the finding the sponsorship is definitely the hardest part. Uh, I, I consider myself a driver, but it's hard to. Uh, that's not everything you got to have at this day and age. you got to be able to do it all. So, uh, I try to find my own sponsorship, but it's uh, it's definitely tough. You mentioned how special it is to have a pink car this weekend for your mom. So how special is that to, to have such a speed? Uh, absolutely. Uh, not not too long ago, she was going through breast cancer. She's in remission right now, but anytime I can support a cause like that, it's, it's definitely great to be involved in that. Yeah, it used to be uh, whenever we were all late models coming up through the ranks, uh, my mom and my dad was the crew. That was it. So uh, it's definitely uh, great to be able to have them out the racetrack and, and get to do this. Who would you say is your biggest, your biggest mentor in racing? It's been another driver, a team owner. I don't know. I look up to a lot of different drivers, and um, we got some Dave Reagan, which is from the house there. So uh, it's great to be able to be friends with those folks and uh, have a few people we can lean off of. But uh, I look up to a bunch of these drivers. What do you say is the biggest moment for you on track where it really hits you that wow, I'm, I'm really getting it? Yeah, I mean, I anytime you throw the green flag on one of these cup races, you're, you're looking around you, and, and the cars around you are, are the people you idolize. So it's, uh, it's great to be involved with that and see that you're racing against the people you always wanted to be inside. It's a great thing. So, when did it hit you when you were young that you wanted to be a NASCAR uh, Ever since I was about seven years old, I think I've been trying to uh, I start racing at four and a half, but it, whenever I, I was about seven, it, uh, I, I was serious about it. I started wanting to go to bigger races, and it just kind of snowballed into the progression of. I want to do this, so, uh, for Do you have any other plans for Xfinity, maybe more tracks? Do you have stuff planned for next year, or is that all just as it comes? As it comes, I mean, I would love to be able to say I got a, this on the line, but it's, uh, it's kind of a race, race deal, kind of put together. So what, what are your expectations for the our expectations are to keep the car clean and uh, get the best finish we can. Uh, stay out of the wrecks, and we should be there then. Yeah, thank you.